Okay. You on? Yeah, I'm on. Go that way, dude. They're all taking off over there. Anyway. Right, what's going on, guys? Now, I realize I've been pretty bad about uh, doing some introductions, uh, just kind of like what we're doing. So what I'm about to do now is I'm gonna play some footage. Uh, we're heading to Packery right now. We're gonna get some live shrimp. Been having some really good luck running a Carolina rig. I'll play some footage now. I was there about a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago probably, and uh, caught some nice redfish and then also caught two really nice mangroves. And I don't usually run a Carolina rig, if you know me. What I like to do is just a little split shot above a hook. But anyways, we're gonna get some live shrimp. Hope you enjoy the footage that I'm gonna run now, and hopefully I'll tag on some footage if I catch some more fish this afternoon. But like I said, I apologize. Trying to get better. Uh, I don't really think about it considering Packery's 15 minutes away and sometimes I'm just running there and throwing the camera in my bucket. But anyways, hope y'all enjoy the video and we're gonna try and get on some fish this after afternoon and we are on our way and we're gonna get some live shrimp. All right, big old hydro minnow. I don't know if y'all saw that, but those are kingfish coming up out of the rocks freaking right here. I know we went and got shrimp, but as you'll see later on in the video, these kingfish are terrorizing this big ball of menhaden, so we're throwing some lures at them right now. If you look to the bottom right of the screen, those are big trout, big redfish, and kingfish all mixed together coming up on the school of Minhaid. So what you see now is we're actually clipping on a small circle hook onto one of those little quick clips that I use. Uh, we got a menhaden and we're going to try catching one of this. No wire, uh, just 80 pound fluoro and uh, you'll see what happens. You may never see these kingfish come up right here. You hooked up with a king right there, huh? Yep. Yeah, I was coming out here for a trout, but I'm glad I brought this bigger stuff. Jesus Christ. The kingfish right there coming out of the water on this menhaden. Now I think at this point, uh, there's all kinds of fish eating this menhaden, and one had stole on. the only menhaden I had, so I switched back to a silver spoon. Now I'm just trying to run that silver spoon through that school. Oh shit, he jumped up. jumped up. Yeah, well he jumped over my line. Oh, oh he pulled off, my bad. That's all good. Did y'all cast net those men hanging? Yeah. How many more y'all got? Can I? There is me bumming some live bait off some guys uh, that were catching with the cast net. We're gonna switch back after this cast with this spoon and switch back and right now we have another live menhaden going out. Uh, those kings, they were so keyed on this menhaden they would not touch lures. I'm just out there. If you throw wherever you want and then I'll work around y'all. I'm, I'm the one that's jumping in on y'all. You, you may not see these kings do this for like years right here. This is absolutely insane. But dude, trout that big is not a bad bycatch. 
So the kid to my left was absolutely on a tear catching these big trout out of this school, yeah. Mint Hayden. I wish I would have got his YouTube channel just in case he had one just so I could plug it here. But, man, he caught some awesome trout. He actually made me start fishing for trout just because I wanted to catch a big one that day. Jesus. <laughs> Here we are while he's fighting this trout. We're about to hook up on this live menhaden with our first king. Okay. You on? Yeah, I'm on. They're all taking off over there. Anyway. It's a really good sized king. Uh, I always say they're bigger at Packery than they are at Port A, but this guy takes me around the end of the rocks. But like I said, we're just running that small circle hook with 80 pound fluoro. So uh, you'll see here, he'll come unpinned. Uh, he somehow breaks my line. Uh, I don't know how, I don't usually run wire, but uh, after this, I tried to focus on catching some trout. Everything that's important with it is sitting in my garage. All right, we're gonna try and pick up one of these big trout. I tried throwing a popping cord just to mimic what that kid was doing, uh, catching those big trout, but here we are. We're actually switching back up to a circle hook and some small split shots just to try and get down through that Menhaden school. I'm not exactly sure when I say it, but while I'm fishing for these kings, I see some redfish coming up in this Menhaden. Uh, so here we are sinking a shrimp down below them. We good fish. Yeah, it's a live shrimp, so it's either red. I'm hoping it's one of them big old trout. Trout or redfish? Can you help that in it? Maybe a net. Oh, it's a red, yeah. Slaughter. Yeah, it's a good slot, too. It's actually 50 pound fluoro. Oh, really? Yeah, the leader is so. Here, I'll do it. So that way, if yeah, it breaks, you don't yeah. feel bad. Exactly, exactly. I, was like, I don't want to pull it. I never pull yeah, it. thanks for offering, though. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey, if you're a CCA, you can get a spot for that one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. He's going to eat, though. Good red right there. Solid slot right there. One red down. Uh, we're going to go right back in it with another live shrimp. Like I said, I could literally see these redfish coming up and eating on those men menhaden as well. Uh, really, the only trick was to get your live shrimp down past those menhaden because they'd get caught up and those menhaden would be hitting it. And uh, you just needed to sink that live shrimp down enough and those reds were right underneath the school bait. Another nice red. Yeah, it's another nice red. Yeah, I know. One more. 
One more and I can mess around with kingfish. Fish stringered up. Now we're gonna go right back with another live shrimp. And right here you'll see, I'm actually struggling to keep that shrimp down from those menhaden, but we get it to sink and we get our third redfish eventually. Damn, dude, that was quick, whatever the hell that was. Those, those menhaden are eating the shrimp. If you want to use the shrimp, help yourself. It's in that yellow top bucket right there. <laughs> I think he's hung up. Was he on a rock, but on a king too? Yeah, hopefully it's that third red. Oh, don't. Oh, and <laughs> leave them trout alone, dude. Hold on, man. Hold on, fish. Oh, did I cross No, you're good. You're good. Or, I mean, fish is doing what he wants right now. No, you're good. You're good. Leave it there. Leave it there. They're, they're right there. Oh, I got a big trout. No? Wait a Who's got this trout? This turns into a little bit of a mess here just because everyone's catching fish, but we get it worked out and we land this last red fish. Yeah. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. Hey, I'm working around you. Oh, hell yeah. It's another red. Yeah. <laughs> three in like 10 minutes. He may be big. Who's got that? Yeah. Well, I had a cousin. Um, I was at a cousin who's on pins. They were there yesterday afternoon, caught their lemon on pins. Went this morning, caught their lemon on pins, and he was begging me to go there, but hell, I'm glad I came here. <laughs> it's a lot easier, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. it. Yeah, on a soft tape like this. How am I gonna? Yeah, I'll just. I think this is over. Right? Twenty six, twenty seven. Seven. You're pretty good. What did it say? What did it say? What did it say? Much is this? Yeah, out? he's way yeah, over. That's, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be twenty, twenty four and three quarters. Yeah, he's over twenty three. He's twenty three and a half. Yeah. Big ass king just aired right there, bro. <laughs> So here's our limit of redfish. It's a great stringer, and now we're gonna start messing around for some kingfish. Man, look at this freaking three fish limit. Biggest one is 27. Is uh, the same guys that were offering me some menhaden. Uh, whenever I asked, they also offered me some wire. So shout out to them if you're watching this video. Thank y'all. This is what it's about. The fishing was absolutely insane this day, so I'm glad there's a lot of people out there that are kind of coming together and help each other catch fish. Yeah, so the color of the water, that storm, all the rain we got, when all that stuff kind of mixes, those kingfish will come I in. King. I just missed one. Oh, Did you? Crazy. I missed the king. I got like half an hour for the fuck up right now. Those kingfish come in real close with this. Shout out to Ray with South Texas Fishing Fam again. I'm going to put his link in the description. He is always on fish down here. So if you like watching videos on the Texas coast, go ahead and subscribe to his channel as well. Ah, damn it. And I got a truck too. Yeah. If it was spinners, at least it'd be entertaining. Yeah, I know. I got pliers right here if you want to. And I said I got shrimp. Yeah, his, his, his are all rusty. It's not rusty. They don't even open. They're not mine. My good ones are on top of the fish. Where's your bait out at? Close? 
So the reel I'm using is actually Tsunami Shield, but it has a bailless conversion manual pickup kit on it. They're like 15 bucks, and you can just put them on your existing reels. So it's an awesome thing to have, and I honestly prefer my reels like this now. No. Oh my god. Jesus. These kings were skying out on bait all afternoon. I wish I would have got more on video, but I did get these one or two, so it was pretty cool to catch on camera. I think I think that's finally him. No, you're good. You're good. Hey, I'll go around. You. No, go. Uh, go. I'm under. Yeah, I'm under. Are you? You're already out. You're already far out. Bro. I think you landed a king right here, bro. No, um, you. I'm over, or you're. Oh, this is about to be a mess. You got a coup, though. Oh, I got, I got one too. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got one too. God. Listen to those runs. That's a big dog too. Here, I'm under you. You're under you? Yeah. yeah. The heads up. He's coming that way, but... Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I just got to get him turned there. Yeah, I'm just gonna tail wrap him. Oh man. Oh, who popped out? There he goes. Oh, you got a king, bro. No way. Yeah. Hey, who popped out, bro? Yeah. Oh. Oh, son of a. Yeah. That's a big fish. Also, shout out to my boy Michael. Always there to land a fish for you. Yeah. Oh, Whew. big dog. Thanks for watching. Any questions about tackle and what I'm using, uh, drop a comment below. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Like and subscribe, and I hope to get some more videos out for y'all soon.